Okay, so we just got the propane filled up. And today what I'm gonna do is run the coax cable for an antenna I'm gonna put on the roof. Uh, or, you know, maybe future satellite or something. I'm gonna run two coax lines because uh, they're together, two with the ground here. And uh, since I got this all torn apart still, it's gonna go up through there and come down to this away, over to there, down to there, down to there, and then over. Okay, well I got the first pilot hole drilled and it really turned out good. I had to get a big spade, long spade bit, one from the top down, and kind of guessed in between the studs and it worked out real good. So we're gonna put another second hole in the wire, seal her up. So you can kind of tell, maybe, I tried to do a little bit of a cone shape here. So, uh, try to get it real good in the cracks and then push it down on the roof. And then I'll come back over it later with the, uh, whatever that stuff is, the Henry's metal roof stuff. <clears throat> okay, so I got most of the paneling done here. Got that finally wired back up and everything or installed. And then I decided I wanted to possibly put a speaker in the floor where the couch is going to be. So, uh, and I also wanted to put a quarter inch jack just to have it in case I wanted to uh, do something down the road which I probably will so I tore the paneling back apart here and I'm tapping into the speaker wires using these things that you use a lot of times if you're putting in like a trailer hitch or something just like a wire tap so we're gonna do that wire that up to a quarter inch jack wire the quarter inch jack to some wires that come down through the floor over to here kinda something like this here Yeah. Here's a quick video of the new seat in back. Pretty much just like the old one. 
Uh, except this is going to lift up on a hinge in this version. The old one didn't, but I'm gonna put like a lock on it or something so it's not accessible by the driver. And then rebuild this box up. And put a little lid on that. Yep. Fresh, wholesome hostess, ding dongs, fruit pies, golden Twinkies with cream filling. A kid's world is a special world, and hostess is a part of it. Hostess and kids, they go together. So I will be getting ready to do the polyurethane on this this overhead bunk after about a year. And I found today that there was a leak. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But it was leaking a little bit. I ordered some, well, I will order some butyl tape tomorrow. Probably make a video of replacing the seal on that. So yeah, I'm going to polyurethane it now. So I did uh, polyurethane down there, one coat. But you can barely tell. And uh, got the polyurethane up here done. Got some fans going on it to help dry it. Or the fan. Which is an addition. Which I really enjoy. This came from my old van. It's got a low and high. And I ran the wire behind the molding there. And down. Underneath the bathroom. And that's the power box in that cabinet. So, ran it to a separate fuse line. Uh, where I also put the fridge. Because the fridge needs power to run the little computer. All right, got some polyurethane on there. The couch is back in place. That's all set. The uh, edge over here is rebuilt, and uh, it's not nailed in place, and it still needs poly, but the frame's done. It just has to be secured in the corner there. The uh, water on and off valve is a little hard to get to now. It's under there, but I'm going to rig something else up for that. But there's a ball valve like uh, like one of these under there. And uh, what else? Oh. This has been polyed up here. Bed's all back in place. And looking good. And uh, yeah. The bathroom is all set. Got the uh, shower curtain ready to go in. Haven't hung that yet. Couple of towels. So there we are, ready for vacation city. Got the speaker hooked up. You now this works off a quarter inch jack right there. And then there's a quarter inch plug down there just a wire so I can take this wire make it as long as I want feed it out that window back there and then this can be used as a seat and a speaker and uh, it sounds good enough I haven't put anything in the floor yet down there permanently but one of these days one of these days And I did get a new camera, so hopefully that crazy color changing won't be happening as much anymore. This will probably be the last video with this for a while.